Alright, so as you can see I have no networks created on my Azure portal. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new virtual network and I'm going to call it my Azure network. Go ahead and click next. I'm going to select it to be a site-to-site -site VPN. Go next. And here I'm going to enter my ESA, Cisco ESA configuration with its public IP address that is on a Cisco ESA device. And on the inside interface, I'm going to enter the subnet that is on my ESA's inside interface, 192.168.1. Go next. <clears throat> and here I'm going to enter the virtual address space, which is the address space that my Azure VMs are going to use. 192.168.3. I'm going to select that address space with a class C network mask, and then I'm going to further subdivide that into a subnet and a gateway subnet. The subnet is the actual address space that is going to be used by my virtual machines on the Azure cloud. I'm going to select uh, a larger subnet mask for this slash 26. So my IP address range will be from 3.0 to 3.63. As you can see a gateway subnet is required and I'm going to select to add a gateway subnet to my address spaces. Click complete and our Azure virtual network is being created. So that's finished. Our local networks which reside on ESA. We go to dashboard view, we see a nice little diagram of our VPN status. It's not connected yet. What we need to do is we need to create a virtual gateway. So I'm gonna see like create a gateway and that's going to be static routing. And once I create this gateway, you will see a, a, another option come up called Manage Keys, which will be your pre-shared key that you will be, yes, that you will be entering on your ESA device. But don't, you don't have to worry because all of this is provided to you via a script that is downloadable. So let's go ahead and create a virtual machine that will link to my network. I'm going to just call it a random name here. Enter username and password. Azure VMs cannot use usernames such as admin or user. You have to select a non default username. And here is where you select a virtual network my Azure network that was created previously and you can select the subnet that we created so now you can see how it all comes together and I think that's about it and we go ahead and we spin up our virtual machine so let's go back and see if our virtual network gateway has been created scroll down to the networks section click on the little arrow and click on dashboard and you can see that um, it's not created yet so this this takes quite some time a couple minutes probably about five minutes so we'll go ahead and fast forward it and here we go and we see the connection is not made yet we go ahead and download the device script you can see there's a script for different types of devices one of Microsoft routing remote access and we also have for Cisco 
Cisco ASA devices and Cisco router configuration. So for the, for this demo, we are using the Cisco ASA 5505, and we're going to download that script, which contains the preset key and all the other information for creating tunnels and all that already done up. So it's just a matter of copying and pasting all of this. commands into your Cisco ASC command line prompt so let's go ahead and do that now I'm going to log into my Cisco ASC device And then I'm just going to copy and paste all of this information here. So this makes it pretty easy to configure your endpoint device. And that should do it for my on-premises configuration. And now let's see, it's saying connecting. So all the information has been entered on my Cisco ESA and it should be able to connect now. Let's see if I can ping my virtual machine, my Azure virtual machine. Request timed out, I think maybe because there's a Windows firewall on the Azure VM. But either way, the VPN should come up. Let's bring up Cisco ESC prompt and we're seeing, yes, there is a VPN session. We can see packets being encrypted and decrypted. Yes, so the VPN seems to be up to our remote peer, which is the Azure VPN public IP. So it looks like the VPN is up. The site to site VPN, that is. I'm going to go ahead and log in to my virtual machine here and just turn off that firewall. And then we can ping in both directions. I'm going to log in with the user that we created previously. I'm going to ping in both directions to verify that we have site to site connectivity from both sides of the VPN tunnel. Oh, so the dashboard shows that there is definitely a connection now. You can see the pipe is complete in that diagram. Let 
I'm just gonna go ahead and disable the firewall on that Azure virtual machine let me see if I can ping a device behind my Cisco ESA and yes I can ping it so we have connection in that direction I'm gonna turn off the firewall on the Azure VM and let's try that ping again to this VM and it should succeed yes we have success and our VPN is successful so that about concludes it for this tutorial on how to set up an Azure site-to-site -site VPN.